Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Joel, and in this video, we'll be talking about the traffic analysis um, of an Android application. Uh, this also relates back to uh, the dynamic analysis in case you want you are analyzing a malware on a uh, particular app, right? So in the earlier video, we already saw the static analysis of malwares. So this would be basically the part two of it, which is the dynamic analysis. Great. So how do we start? Um, so when I talk about traffic analysis, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a proxy set up, right? So let's go to my burp suit over here and let's go and configure a proxy, right? Options, let's add something and probably let's listen on a particular interface, which is 192.168.56.1. The port is going to be 8080, right? Let's save this and there you go. So this is basically going to be my, uh, uh, address on which I'll be listening, right? Uh, great. Now, what do I do next? I need to go down to my app. I need to go down to my Android device, go to the settings, go to the network. And in this case, I'm using a Wi Fi, so I go into that and let's configure or let's modify this, right? So let's modify this, let's change this to manual, and the address will be 192.168. Right, dot uh, what is it 56 dot one if I'm not wrong, right? Was that the configuration 1.168.56.1? dot one? So that is the IP address I'm going to mention down here. Basically, I'm telling my device that any traffic, any HTTP traffic which comes your way, basically, please send it to it's a HTTP proxy. So I'm telling any HTTP traffic which comes your way, send it to the proxy server and save this, right? Now, in order to test this, we need an app. So let's see which app we can use for this. So we have an app called as AnyDo, right? So let's do this. So let's uh, go and install this. ADB install, right? The app was installed. Now we have the app here, right? So let's go into the app. Let's click on join. Probably go to intercept and turn on intercepting. And put in some IP address, I mean email ID as a login xyz at I don't know uh, yahoo.com probably and uh, password is let's say Android right so when I hit on sign in you can see that uh, the proxy is able to uh, you know get the request right is intercepting the request and you can see here now this is how you do your traffic analysis I mean you once once you're established this whole setup you know any uh, activity which you do on the app any HTTP activity will be captured by my proxy and I can from here you know do all kinds of things I can push it to a repeater send it to a decoder uh, you know I can scan and do a lot of things right so this is the basic setup right for doing this now what I did was the HTTP traffic if you clearly see here it is the the protocol is HTTP how about you know what if I have to do HTTP uh, HTTPS right how would I do that will that work right let's check if it is working right how do we check that let's probably um, you know turn off intercept for a minute let's go back and probably go to uh, Google Chrome right let's go to Google Chrome and uh, let's actually HTTPS Google Chrome right See, you can see that the HTTPS, uh, when I put in HTTPS, uh, we are not able to access the internet. The reason being because uh, the because of the uh, certificate, right? The certificate is invalid. So what do we do for this? Now to fix this, first what we do is we need to go to the HTTP um, slash, uh, I mean the burp, right? The burp site and we go and download the certificate right so we have downloaded the certificate which is good now yeah so let's go to the adb shell now right let's go to adb shell right so we are in the adb shell let's go down to the downloads where the certificate is there so let's go here cd to that place so there you go this is a certificate so first we will go and we will uh, rename this certificate from 
the extension dot dr to dot crt right so it's going to be move this to dr to crt right so that's done okay so once that is done let's see uh, let's probably go down to the files here yeah so we have files so this is the dot crt right let's okay this is sorry let's go and click on this let's click on this so when you click on that it's asking for your pin which is two three four and it is asking the name of the certificate right so probably i don't know let me call this as burp there you go the certificate got installed okay which is pretty good now let's say let's try to do the same thing right let's clear everything whatever we have here okay let's try to open up my google chrome browser earlier it was not working right but now it should actually work so let's go down here let's try to go to https website google.com and there you go we are able to do it now can we intercept it let's try that let's put in intercept on and let's uh, search for World Wide Web right and you can see the request was intercepted over here right so yeah so that was basically how you uh, do traffic analysis of both your HTTP and HTTPS uh, uh, kind of a uh, you know environment right so for HTTP uh, we did not have to do anything with the certificates right we just had to set up the proxy and then go to the Android device and point the Android device to my proxy whereas for HTTPS we had to download the certificate rename the certificate from .dr extension to .crt install the certificate and from then on you can access even the HTTP requests and you can even intercept the HTTP requests as shown here right and this comes very handy when we try to do traffic analysis or basically dynamic analysis of any malware. Uh, thank you for watching. We will uh, dig deeper um, into these concepts in the coming videos as well.